for the rest of the year. Let's set some ground rules right now, y'all. Let's set some ground rules. If I say anything tonight, anybody got a fucking problem with? You got one motherfucking option what you could do about it. Absolutely nothing. Because if you think you're going to walk up on this stage, this ain't the motherfucking Oscars. And if you walk your ass up here, you ain't nominated for shit but these motherfucking hands. Oh, we gon' pop the rest of the year, nigga. Every time you see me do a show, pop. I ain't wanna start the show like that. You gonna hit my motherfucking brother? Cause your bitch gave you a side eye? Oh, it's a lot of rock brothers. Y'all ain't know it's a lot of rock brothers. It's 10 of us, motherfucker. You about to see all the rock brothers. You gonna be like, I ain't even know that nigga was a rock brother. That nigga a rock brother? That's a rock brother? I ain't gonna start the show like that, but I just wanna let y'all know that shit ain't gonna ride. That shit ain't gonna ride, nigga. I don't got a lot of shit to lose, nigga. <laughs> Some more gonna have me on the tour regardless. Y'all might never see me on TV again, but... Now, with that said, Riley, how y'all doing? How y'all doing, Riley? Y'all good? Ten brothers, that's 40 different hands and feet coming at you at once. That's a lot of punching and stomping. The problem wasn't that Will Smith was willing to get up and slap somebody to defend his wife. Everybody in the world can respect a man that's willing to defend his wife. The problem was the specific circumstances that made Will Smith get up and do what he did. If Chris Rock would have made that joke and Will Smith would have got up without looking at Jada for confirmation and slapped Chris Rock, we would have looked at this whole situation totally different. But Will Smith was over there laughing. He enjoying himself. He getting jiggy with it. Jada was the one that got offended and then she looked at Will Smith with the what would Tupac do look and that's what made him get up and slap somebody that he's known for 30 years over a woman that's shown time and time again that she would never do the same for him and she'd throw him under the bus at any chance she got. And for all the people, mostly women, mostly women that happen to look like me that say, why are you blaming Jada? She wasn't doing anything. She was just sitting there. Will Smith was the one that decided to get up absolute bs women know the power that they have over a man especially a man that loves them most communication is nonverbal. she knew exactly what she was doing if she was truly trying to protect him and the family brand the moment he was about to get up she should have told him to sit back down and she should have took that joke on the chin Instead, she did exactly what she's done historically speaking. She allowed her ego to destroy Will Smith's greatest moment. This was not about Jada. This was about Venus. This was about Serena. This was about their family legacy and Will's legacy. I mean, the guy made a whole movie with a dog and a green screen. Let him have his moment. Will Smith slapping a comedian for making a joke about his wife at a comedy show is like me slapping a masseuse for rubbing my wife's back at a spa. And trust me, I get it. I was literally one of the first people to mention it. Will Smith has been dealing with a lot over the past two or three years, and he's probably dealing with some sort of mental health issues at this point. But over the past two or three years, people were dropping like flies due to a global pandemic. Housing has pretty much become unaffordable. A loaf of bread is about to cost $500. Everybody's dealing with mental health issues in this country. That doesn't mean we could just start walking around and slapping people. It's obvious that Jada is some sort of master manipulator and what Will Smith needs to do is focus on the source of his misery. Because if your wife is willing to humiliate you and your entire family for ad revenue, that's a problem. In this situation, Will Smith had so many opportunities to do the right thing, he literally could have just left. Or he could have walked up to the stage, grabbed the microphone and said, Hey Chris, I understand that it's a joke, man, but over the past two or three years it's been rough for me. My family put out some very intimate information that we probably shouldn't even put out on the internet anyway, but I have decided to stay with my wife. And if you consider yourself my friend and for everybody in the world that consider themselves to be fans of mine or to be friends of mine, I would really appreciate it if you guys allowed me and my family to get through this together. Me and Jada are working on our marriage. Everybody would stand up and applaud that. He could make his point. That would also make the news. And he would make his point without humiliating another man on national television. Because for all the people, mostly women, mostly women that happen to look like me, that talk about Jada being humiliated in front of her family, what about Chris Rock? Chris Rock got a family. He got kids that had to watch him get slapped on national television. He got 10 brothers that had to watch him get slapped on national television. And they ain't happy about it. <laughs> 
He allowed himself to be a puppet of Jada's will and ego. He got up and made an emotional decision that could potentially affect his brand forever. And the biggest problem, the problem that everybody has with it, is that he did it for a person that would never do something like that for him and has shown, historically speaking, she would never do something like that for him. Till next time. My boo, my boo, I'm just here for the rendezvous And I ain't the whole damn bro Cause I've been feeling like you want me to He say stop saying I'm so I can't help myself when I poke up